Hey, it's Zoe, and welcome to my art channel. Today I'm drawing an ocelot. I started first with the eye. You don't have to start with your eye. I just decided to try something new. Everything else is obsolete. Tie button shoes. Square with a horn makes you wish you weren't born. Every time he plays. The most important thing you can do is to use a reference. It will save your life a million times over. I've heard some corny birds who tried to sing. Still, the cat's the only cat. Who knows how to swing? Who wants to dick along head kick stuff like that? When everybody wants to be a cat, a square with a When using color, the most important thing to realize is that eyes, fur, they're all many different colors. It's not just one blue or one gray, but it's many colors layered on top of each other to get that visual effect. Everybody wants to be a cat. So the pupil is going to be the darkest part of the eye, and also the reflections will be the lightest. I didn't color them in at all, and I did use a white gel pen to accentuate the reflection in the light. Shanghai, Hong Kong, Egg Foo Young! <laughs> Fortune cookie always wrong! <laughs> That's a hot one! <laughs> How about you and me, Duchess? Yes, let's swing it, Thomas. Groovy, Mama! Groovy! Blow it, small fry! Blow it! Boy, he brew it! <laughs> But he was a close! I would appreciate a moment of silence as I look back and I realize that I'm drawing the eyes different sizes. Also, this is reason 1,322,000 that you must always use a reference. I mean, I did use a reference, I just didn't check it well enough. I didn't measure the size. Anyways, use a reference. <laughs> For the fur, I used individual strokes. Um, for the stripes, you couldn't really tell just because it was so dark, but I used different colored grays for the lighter parts of the fur, and I also put different amounts of pressure because the fur was in shadow in different parts. The other cats will all commence. Congregating on the fence Beneath the alley's only light Where every note is out of sight Everybody, everybody Everybody wants to be a cat
When I'm doing the stripes and spots, I'm going over in in purple and brown. I think I mostly went in just with brown. It's just to make it the color more um, darker and it just looks a little bit better because there is actually purple and very dark black. Well, we sleep inside blankets and bed. Okay, so with the fur over on the side, it is a little different, and so I'm basically just making it individual tufts, sort of, kind of making it darker at the base of the root of the hair and making it lighter at the end. Um, so just basically how you apply the pressure of it. And also for the ear, I really just blended it a lot, um, using white and then going back over in dark again. focused on the face the body looks very sleek so you don't have to do the individual furs which is nice and I also made the stripes less bold so they're not as dark and I really just blended the heck out of it just a quick note so for the stripes right here I just kind of do a dark gray outline around them I lost most of the footage at the end, which is a disappointment, but it was pretty boring. I'm just doing the background. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, it was new, doing a voiceover, so you guys tell me if you like it. And if you have any requests for an animal or person or picture I can draw. And please like and subscribe. Thank you. Yeah.